All right guys, it is Tuesday. I am trying to pick up a bunch of stuff because I have to return like everything I've ordered from Amazon pretty much. So first, my watch bracelet, the new one I got, broke. The GoPro case, it's just nothing about this worked. And I've gotta return another watch band because the links, I couldn't get the links out and the tool that they sent broke. So I'm, I'm packing, packing all that stuff up, but also I'm kind of running late because that's what I do on days back. So, yeah, let's go. Turning a bunch of stuff at the same time is I just don't have boxes for all this stuff. Luckily, luckily at my work, we, we like ship a lot of stuff, so I should be able to find boxes there, I hope. But they're also all small things, so it's kind of like I need really small boxes, and we don't really use small boxes for anything. But we'll see. I mean, I'll put them in a big box if I have to. But I don't want to, obviously. I'd like to minimize the packages. And then I gotta run to UPS during lunch to get them out. So they'll send me back the new stuff. And hopefully I'll get the new stuff before Atlanta. But we'll see about that. I found boxes and envelopes for all my stuff. Yes! I spent a little bit of the morning looking for, for things to put these in. I've got one is just an envelope because I didn't have anything better. This big box right here is holding the little GoPro case. That's all, just a little GoPro case. So, this is actually the only efficient box that I've had. Like, this is completely full. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. And that's what I did. So we're gonna head over to UPS now. Hopefully not gonna give me any hell about, about any of my boxes. I don't know, we'll find out. All done. That was easy. It took like three seconds. Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna cut a single second of that. That's how quick it was. Man, UPS is good. Why do I always use FedEx? Huh. Whatever. I'll keep using FedEx. All right, guys. I am off. I am about to head home. I am really close to finishing that book from Audible, or not from Audible, from the library. But you know what? Whatever. I found it from Audible originally. Is it from Audible? I don't remember. But anyway, so I'm gonna go listen to it. I'm gonna drive home and I'll talk to you very, very, very soon. So last night I was sleeping and the dogs and the cats don't totally get along. The little dog and the cats. So, so I guess they were like, the dog was down on the floor. The cats, I guess both were on the bed and they were growling and I didn't know the cats were that upset. I was like, calm down. I go to touch my cat. He jumps like a like like a cartoon. That's how I picture it. I mean, my eyes are half asleep, half uh, half closed, and lands straight in the center of me. Scratches my arm, my arm scratches my shoulder. I was bleeding. I would show you my arm, but it's underneath the watch, and it hurts so bad. But the best part was, it's like the cat that's not ever scared of anything. So it was just really weird. I was I actually like since I was in days, I'm like, was that like a raccoon or something? What just happened to me? It was a great way to wake up. That's the one that jumped like a cartoon cat right there. I just wanted to share that. I've actually wanted to share that all day. I just haven't had a chance to. Yeah, it's funny. Let's see if I can find that scratch. Yeah, you literally can't see the scratch anymore. <laughs> It's like the watch has like worn it off, but it used to be there. It was, I promise you it was bleeding. I just got blood on my, got blood on my pillow. Thanks cat, really appreciate it. And this was the dog that, that caused it all. Right here. This one right there. See how he's like looking for an animal right now? He's like looking around, searching. 
<laughs> it's a cute little puppy though. But yeah, she came in here searching for an animal and she just like, she walks in and she like was looking all over me. She doesn't know where the cats may be. And then they like sneak out on her. So she's not the nicest dog to the cats. She's really nice to me. All right, done sharing. All right guys, I am going to sleep. I hope you enjoyed my cat story. This one is normally the really scared one, but she was actually fine. I, I, I really thought it was gonna be her that was the one that was like jumping last night and I was trying to calm her down. But she was actually just laying there like, hey, I'm good. I'm good to hang out, um, which was weird, different. Anyway, thank you for watching again today. Like, comment, subscribe. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.